welcome to Sharing Insights in the Rain. We're here at the Purple Punk Country Club with Justin Dolan, and we are at the Secret Garden House, where I had the pleasure of staying last night. We did two interviews yesterday, talking about all the amazing projects that Justin has going on here at the Country Club, which is a disc golf course. Uh, you'll have to go to the podcast to get that story. But for now, I want Justin to tell you about this pool, this exquisite pool with salt water, and the living group, the very ivy that's growing over the secret garden house, and it's all very intentional. The uh, house is designed to cool, we live in a tropical environment, the living room gives us shade, it gives evaporative cooling, as well as the evaporative cooling we get from the other uh, walls. The ivy-covered walls shade the, uh, the house. They take up the water from the uh, sinks and from the showers. They change that water from uh, liquid to a gas. And that process is a chemical reaction that drops the uh, temperature around it. So it's basically one big air conditioner that you lit inside of. The idea of the saltwater pool in front of it is not just to uh, you know, save money and keep away from the harsh chemicals as much as it is for uh, cooling. When you run air across uh, water, it makes the heat out of it. So it's one more way to keep this house cool with having you know, no money spent on air conditioning. And, you know, being in the tropics, spend no money on heat, so it really helps us keep our, uh, our spend low and our environmental footprint low, and makes us comfortable, beautiful place to uh, hang out with those women. You know, every, everyone loves the pool. And, you know, we had this pool here since, since the beginning. Before we had running water in the community, we had a swimming pool. We took rainwater, we took water from the springs, and uh, we made ourselves a pool. And, so good, so clean, no chlorine, such a lovely swim. And so the water, besides the rain, uh, gets filled by. Well, it gets filled by the rain. No, we have, a, we have a rainwater tank. We made a building because we had no water from from the city or an aqueduct before. So we made a uh, a tank for rainwater. Instead of just having a big ugly rainwater tank, we uh, made a, a bedroom up on top of it and we uh, put a bathroom next to it. We have one more place to uh, allow our friends to crash for the night. Being in nature is really relaxing. You know, it's it's good. I mean, when you have a an idea for a neighborhood or intention to build your own home or a community, it's going to have something relaxing and very little stress because you know, it's not just the medicine making it better, but it's our, uh, it's our environment. Having a stress free, healthy environment that is good for your health. And coming home and seeing your home covered with flowers, just dripping down the walls, I and mean, it's, right. it's pretty nice. And we have hummingbirds all fly through, fly through the house and stuck every day. It's loaded with uh, parrots and parakeets here, I and mean, there's so much nature around us. So deer, sloths, uh, anteaters, one of my favorites come through here. It's uh, you know, it's really good us having all this food and fruit and meat around here in the nature because you know, the roof is a, a habitat itself. Normally really, animals don't live on, on food. Our roof is sick of insects, the birds, the bees, and some beautiful uh, way to uh, attract more pollinators. Hey everybody, hey, thanks for sticking it through that audio there. I uh, hope we got the insights out to you sufficiently, took some notes. Uh, I, I got a school bus down here that I am going to be planting some vines on to keep it cool because a metal bus, it heats up. We got to shade it out. So I'm, I'm sold on the uh, living, cooling phenomenon that Justin's working with there. So uh, just another great moment of learning who's doing what and how it's working for them. If you like that kind of thing, check out other videos in the YouTube channel here. We've got another one with Justin talking about his biochar and, and Bokashi stations. Uh, we've also got two interviews with Justin on the website, on the podcast. So if you do podcasts, go check it out. You can check out the link below that'll take you to his episodes. And yeah, uh, just keep doing the good work. Follow these stories, subscribe, leave a comment. Let us know what kind of thing you uh, would like to learn here on this channel. And yeah, we've got a lot of teachers lined up. So thanks for following the journey.